everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to be cr learning how to crochet the braided ca cable slouch hat, which is the hat that you see here in front of you. This is a uh, slouchy hat and it is named after this one cable that you can see here on the hat, which is a braided cable. The rest of the hat is a very simple design uh, and uh, when I wear this hat I set it a little bit back further on my head and uh, keep this cable to the side. And uh, it's a very pretty hat, has a wonderful drape to it. I have a pom-pom faux fur on the top but you can of course use one made with yarn or else leave this hat without a pom-pom, it looks just as good. If you are joining me for the Wonderful Hats Crochet Along, welcome. And if you are not uh, aware of the Wonderful Hats Crochet Along, you can check out the direct link in the description of this video. It will have all the instructions uh, about the Crochet Along for you. As well in the description of this video, you will find a direct link to this particular crochet pattern. It is free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook along with about 200 yards of a worsted weight yarn and in particular I will be using the Peyton's uh, Canadiana yarn and today I'm going to be working in this color here which is the Fool's Gold color. You'll also need a palm if you choose as well as a yarn needle for finishing off and weaving in your ends. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, I hope that uh, you'll subscribe and check out some of the other videos that are here on my channel. Why don't uh, we grab our hooks and our yarn and we will learn how to crochet this braided cable beanie. Our hat pattern today is worked from the bottom up. So we're going to start down here with this ribbing, this brim here, and we're going to start by making a slip knot. This portion of the hat is worked in rows. In my design, I've used slip stitches for my ribbing, but if you would like, you could substitute that stitch for a single crochet stitch or even a half double crochet stitch for your brim. So we're going to start by chaining eight chains And then into the second chain from your hook, there's the first, into that second chain you're going to work one slip stitch and then a slip stitch into each stitch all the way across. You will have seven stitches at the end of this row. When you come to the end of your row, you will chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work in the back loop only of our, uh, for the rest of this brim. So you're always going to be working in the back loop only. To find your back loop only, you're going to look at the top of your stitch and you'll see this nice V. Your back loop is the loop that is furthest away from you. So slip stitch into that first stitch under the back loop only and then slip stitch all the way across, always working in that back loop. When you come to the end, chain one and turn. You're now going to repeat that until your band measures approximately 19 inches. So slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across at the end of your row, chain one and turn your work. Continue that until your band measures 19 inches and then meet me back here and we will join the ends of our band together. Thank you. 
Once you have your 19 inches of brim worked, you're then going to want to connect uh, these two short ends together to make your brim round. So what you're going to do is at the end you're going to chain one, bring your two short ends of the brim together, and we're going to work through both thicknesses and working through the back loops only of each. So insert your hook through the back loop only of the first side, over to the other side, insert your hook in the back loop only, yarn over, pull through, and that's your slip stitch. You're going to slip stitch in the same way in each stitch all the way across. So slip stitch, back loop only through both thicknesses all the way across. You're going to have seven stitches and this is just going to secure those two ends together. When you come to the end, you're going to turn your brim right side out. Weave in any ends if you needed there. I have a couple sticking out. And uh, you're then going to now start working in rounds, working along this long edge of your brim. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to work a foundation round of half double crochet stitches. So chain one, there's no need to fasten off. And we're going to work 100 and eight half double crochet stitches all the way around. You're going to space them evenly out and it may seem like a lot but that's just because this is a very slouchy beanie so these extra half double crochets are what will give it its slouch. Now if you didn't want it to be as slouchy you can change the numbers of half double crochet stitches uh, you just need 12 stitches for your cable. So then you can have any number of half double crochets all the way around. Of course, it will change the uh, way that you do your decreases in the top. But um, if you really want it to be a little less slouchier, then I would do fewer half double crochets at this point. So go ahead and work 108 half double crochets all the way around. Join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and uh, you'll be all set to begin round two. Once you have worked your 108 half double crochet stitches evenly around, you should have something that looks like this. We're going to join with a slip stitch into our first stitch and chain one. Do not turn your work. For round two you're simply going to work one round of half double crochet stitches. So chain one and half double crochet into that first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. You'll have 108 half double crochet stitches when you come to that first one join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of your round two, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. We're now going to start working some of the cable stitch design. As you saw at the beginning there and from the pictures on my blog, there is one braided cable uh, in the body of this beanie. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by chaining one and we're going to work a half double crochet into each of the first 30 stitches. So work 30 half double crochet stitches, one in each of the next 30. Six, and 
10. Fifteen. Nineteen. And twenty. Twenty nine and thirty. Once you have worked your thirty stitches, you're then going to work uh, your cable stitch. To begin your cable, we're going to start by working three front post double crochet stitches in each of the next three stitches. So here's our next half double crochet here. There's another one, and there's one more. We're going to work a front post double crochet stitch. To work the stitch, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post working from right through to left of that next stitch. Yarn over and draw through a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. That's your first front post double crochet stitch. You're going to work two more around each of the next two stitches. So you'll have a total of three front post double crochet stitches. Like so. Now we're going to work um, that center part of our braided cable. And it requires sort of crossing some of these stitches over. So we're going to skip the next three stitches. So there's one, two, three. Skip those stitches and work an extended front post double crochet around the next three. So to work your extended front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, skip the next three stitches, and around the next stitch, the post, insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and draw through one loop only. There's one. Yarn over and draw through two. And yarn over and draw through two more. That's your extended front post double crochet. You're going to do that around the next two stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. One more time, front po extended front post double crochet around the next stitch. Just like so. So this is what your work looks like. You have three front post double crochets, you've skipped three stitches, and you have three extended front post double crochet stitches. We're now going to work behind the stitches just made and double crochet in each of the three skipped stitches. So if we pull our work forward and take a look, we have one skip stitch here, two, and three. We're going to work a double crochet in each. So yarn over and starting with that first skipped stitch, you might help to pull your work right forward there. Find the top of that first skipped stitch, insert your hook, and work a double crochet. 
You're then going to work a double crochet into each of the next ones. Go into that next stitch and you can see I'm kind of working in behind those extended stitches, working into the tops of the stitches that I skipped before. So there's two and one more double crochet or three. It really helps to pull those stitches forward. So now I can put my stitches back and this is what it's going to look like. Next you're going to finish with three more front post double crochet stitches. So going back to the next stitch, so you have those three you worked in the skipped, you've worked front post double crochets around these ones, then into that next stitch work three more front post double crochet stitches. And your cable won't look like much yet, but as it grows, it will look better and better. So there's our third front post. So if you take a look, this is what you have there. Okay. You're now simply going to half double crochet in each of the tops in each of the remaining stitches all the way around. So I believe there should be 66 uh, half double crochet stitches all the rest of the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you can chain, uh, you can join with a slip stitch and chain one. For round four, you will have chained one we're now going to half double crochet into each of the first 30 stitches. There's 15, twenty. Five and thirty. Then in each of your next twelve stitches, you're going to work a front post double crochet. So bring your hook and yarn over, bring your hook in front of the stitch. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. You're going to do that around each of the next 12 stitches. These are the stitches of your cable. Making sure that you go around each of the stitches in order, especially when you get to that center part where the stitches are crossed over one another, you want to work those extended front post double crochets first and then pull your work and back work those three double crochets and then one in each of the next front post double crochets below Once you have worked your 12 front post double crochet stitches, you're going to half double crochet in each stitch 
all the rest of the way around. So that's 66 half double crochet stitches all the way around. Join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round five, you're going to chain one, work a half double crochet in each of the first 30 stitches. There's 10, fifteen, twenty, twenty five. And 30. So you should be back at your cable stitches. We're now going to work some more of these front post double crochets and these extended front post double crochet stitches. So when you reach your cable, you're going to be begin your next part of your cable by skipping the next three stitches. So skip your next three front post double crochet stitches and then in into each of the next three or around the next three you're going to work an extended front post double crochet stitch. So skip the next three around that next stitch, work an extended front post double crochet stitch. I'm going to do that three times. One extended double crochet around each of the next three stitches. Just like so. Then, working uh, in front of those stitches you just made, you're going to work a front post double crochet stitch around each of the skipped stitches. So working in front, bring your hook in front, yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch that you skipped, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and you're going to do that for each of those three skip stitches. So these are just front post double crochet stitches, just like so, around each of those skipped ones, like so. You're then going to skip the next three stitches, so one, two, three, and then into the next three, work extended front post double crochet stitches. There's one, two, and three. We're going to complete our cable by once again working in front of the ones we just worked and into the three that we skipped. So you may need to pull your cable apart a little bit so you can see these three underneath, but you're going to work three front post double crochet in each of the skipped stitches. So beginning with that first one that you skipped, front post double crochet, the second one that you skipped, pull those stitches apart if you need help seeing them, two and one more. And if you step back and take a look at your cable, you're going to see that you have now have these two crossed over cable pieces. Once you've completed that part of your cable, 
we're now going to simply work our half double crochet stitches all the rest of the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and chain one. For round six, you're going to chain one and you're going to half double crochet in each of the first 30 stitches. There's 10, 14, and 15, 20, Twenty five, and thirty. When you come to your uh, the end of your thirty, you'll be at your cables. You're then going to work one front post double crochet into each of the next 12 stitches. So a front post double crochet into each of those cable stitches, being careful not to untwist, so making sure that you're getting them all in the proper place. So we have our three here. And now our three front post. On to the next cable. So these are all front post double crochet stitches. And my final three. like so. So you can now really see that braided cable pattern coming out. You're then going to continue all the way around working a half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of round six, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Now at this 
this time, this is what your hat looks like. It should be curling up a little bit there uh, to, as you start uh, to work, continue to work the body. Now what you're going to do for the next four rounds, so rounds seven through to 10, you're going to repeat rounds three to six. So uh, feel free to go back in the video there, take a look at your rounds three through to six, and that's the start of our cable to where we ended off there. And you're going to repeat those one more time. That's going to bring you to uh, the conclusion of your round 10. Then at that time, meet me back here and uh, we will begin our decrease rounds. Once you come to the end of your round 10, this is what your hat, uh, the cable portion, is going to look like. And you're now all set to begin round 11. Round 11 is the start of our decrease round, so we're going to begin to shape the hat uh, a little bit upward there. And um, it's uh, the decrease stitches are worked in these first few rounds by working half double crochet two stitches together. So what we're going to do is we're going to, for round 11, start by chaining one and then work a half double crochet into the first 10 stitches. eight, nine, and ten. Next you're going to half double crochet two stitches together. To do the half double crochet two together, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. That is your half double crochet two together. We're now going to repeat, work one half double crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. And then half double crochet two together. You will have six stitches remaining before your cable, so you're going to half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. We're now going to work across our cable and you're going to do that by working a front post double crochet stitch in each of the next three stitches or each of the next three stitches, yes. You're then going to skip the next three stitches and work an extended double crochet, front post double crochet around the next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. Now working behind those stitches you just made and into each of the skipped stitches in behind, you're going to work one double crochet stitch. So one double crochet stitch into each of the previous skipped three stitches. So there's one, two, 
2 and 3. Now jumping over to the next unworked stitch, you will work one front post double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Having completed your cable, half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Half double crochet two stitches together. Now half double crochet into each of the next 10 stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together. We are then going to repeat that last part all the way around. Half double crochet in each of the next 10 stitches and then half double crochet two stitches together. When you come back to that first stitch you will join with a slip stitch into the first stitch and chain one. For round 12, you're going to chain one and you're going to begin by working a half double crochet stitch into each of the first nine stitches. half double crochet two stitches together and repeat half double crochet stitches uh, stitch in each of the next nine stitches and half double crochet two together. You will have six stitches remaining until your cable, so half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. When you reach your cable, you're going to work a front post double crochet stitch in each of the next 12 stitches. So in each stitch all the way across your cable work a front post double crochet. And now halfway across. Three more front post double crochets to go. You're then going to half double crochet into each of the next three stitches and half double crochet two stitches together. Half double crochet into each of the next nine stitches.
and half double crochet two stitches together. You're then going to repeat that all the way around half double crochet in each of the next nine stitches and half double crochet two together. When you come to the end of your round, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch and chain one. For round 13, you're going to half double crochet in each of the first eight stitches. and half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that half double crochet in each of the next eight stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together. You will have six stitches remaining until you're cabled, so half double crochet into each of those six remaining stitches. When you come to your cable, you're going to skip the next three stitches and work an extended front post double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. Now working in front of the stitches that you just skipped, work a front post double crochet stitch in each of those three. So there's one, two, and three. You're going to repeat that, skip the next three unworked stitches. So there's one, two, three. Into the next three, work one uh, extended front post double crochet. So there's one, two, and three working in front of your work and into those stitches that you just skipped, work a front post double crochet in each of those three. So there's three front post double crochets. Just like so. Next, you're going to half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So going back to your unworked stitches, half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, half double crochet two together, then half double crochet in each of the next eight stitches. and half double crochet two together. You're now going to repeat that half double crochet in each of the next eight stitches and half double crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. For round 14, you're going to chain one, half double crochet into each of the first seven stitches, and half double crochet two together. Repeat that half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches
and half double crochet two stitches together. You'll have six remaining before your cable, so half double crochet into each of those six. When you come to your cable, work a front post double crochet stitch into each of the next 12 stitches. So front post double crochet all the way across your cable. I'm on my last three front post double crochet stitches. Now half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet two stitches together. Now half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches and half double crochet two stitches together and then join with a slip stitch into the first stitch and chain one. For round 15 you're going to chain one, half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. half double crochet two stitches together and repeat half double crochet into each of the next six stitches and half double crochet two stitches together half double crochet in each of the remaining stitches before your cable so half double crochet in each of the next six. And that brings you to your cable. For your cable, you're going to front post double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Skip the next three stitches and into the next three work an extended front post double crochet stitch. So one extended front post double crochet in each of the next three. Now working behind those stitches and into the stitches you skipped work one double crochet stitch in each. So one double crochet in each of the three skipped stitches. There's one and two and three. Back to your unworked stitches. 
front post double crochet into each of the last three stitches of your cable. So there's one, two, and three. Having completed the cable, you're going to half double crochet two together into the next two stitches. Then half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. And half double crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around, half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. And then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat all the way around when you come back to the beginning, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. For round 16, chain one, half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together. Half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. You will then be at your cable stitch. We're going to front post double crochet into each of those stitches across your cable. So into each of the next 12 stitches. There's six. Nine and twelve. Having completed your cable, you're going to half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. and half double crochet two stitches together. Half double crochet now in each of the next five stitches. Half double crochet two stitches together and you're going to repeat half double crochet in each of the next five and half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round 17, you're going to chain one, half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. and then half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that two more times. Half double crochet into each of the next four stitches 
and half double crochet two together. Repeat it once more, half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. and half double crochet two together. This is going to bring you to your cable stitch. When you reach your cable stitch, you're going to skip the next three stitches and into each of the next three, work a, an extended front post double crochet stitch. So there's one, two, and three now working in front of the stitches you just made and into each of the skipped uh, previous stitches you're going to work a front post double crochet stitch Repeat that, skip the next three unworked stitches and work an extended front post double crochet stitch into each of the next three stitches. Now working in front of your work into the three skipped stitches, work one front post double crochet into each. Now hop over to your unworked stitches, half double crochet into each of the next five stitches, and half double crochet two together. Half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. and half double crochet two together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, half double crochet in each of the next four stitches, half double crochet two together, and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round 18, you're going to half double crochet into each of the next three stitches and half double crochet two together. Repeat that twice more, half double crochet into each of the next three stitches and half double crochet two together. When you come to your cable stitch, you're going to front post double crochet into each stitch all the way across. So 12 front post double crochet stitches. three left here. Once you have completed your cable, you're going to half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together.
then half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round 19, you're going to chain one, half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and then half double crochet two together. Half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and half double crochet two together. Repeat that one more time, half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and half double crochet two together. You will be at your cable stitch. So you're now going to front post double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Skip the next three stitches and into the next work an extended front post double crochet stitch. One into each of the next three stitches. Now working in behind those stitches, you're going to work one double crochet stitch into each of the three skipped stitches. There's one, two, three. Jump over to your next unworked stitch and work three front post double crochet stitches, one in each of the next three. You'll have completed your cable. You're going to half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Half double crochet two stitches together. Half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Half double crochet into each of the next two and then half double crochet two together all the way around to the first stitch and join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. For round 20, you can really see the top of your hat coming closed here now. For round 20, you're going to chain one, half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that, half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet two stitches together. One more time, half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet two stitches together. You will then be at your cable stitch you're going to front post, double crochet into each of the next 12 stitches. There's nine, twelve. Once you're finished your cable, half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then half double crochet two together half double crochet into the next stitch 
and now half double crochet two together. You're going to repeat that last part all the way around half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet two together. All the way around when you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. chain one. We are now on round 21 which is our final round and we're going to uh, work a half double crochet two together three times. So there's one, two, and three you will have reached your cable stitch. We're now going to work a front post double crochet three together. So over these next three stitches work a front post double crochet three together. What you're going to do is you're going to yarn over, bring your hook to the front and working around the post of that first stitch, insert your hook from right to left, yarn over, draw up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops. That's your first leg of this stitch. You'll have two loops left on your hook. Do that twice more. Yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the next stitch, working from the front through to the back, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. You're going to do that three more times. So three more front post double crochet three together stitches. And there's two There's three of them, and one more. It's going to bring me all the way across the top of my cable. Four. You're now going to simply continue your half double crochet two together stitches all the way around. So there's one more, two, three, four, five and six, half double crochet two together stitches. You're then going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and at this time you can fasten off leaving a long tail. Once you have fastened off with your long tail, you're going to thread the long tail onto a yarn needle and we're going to sew the top of our hat closed. Now what I like to do first is to turn my hat inside out and then I simply weave my yarn needle and the end in and out through the top round of stitches. So I'm just weaving that thread in and out all the way around the top. Just 
just like so. So all the way around. To that first stitch. When you come to that first stitch, you're simply going to pull it closed like so. And then I like to just secure that top a little bit by adding a quick knot there. Before I weave in my ends. Once you have woven them in, trim it off a little bit there. Turn your hat back right side out. Weave in any other loose ends that you may find there. Add a pom-pom if you wish to the top and you're all set to go. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to make the braided cable beanie. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.